All right, everybody, it's time to go through the men's draw now because we just went through the women's draw. Now it's time to preview the men's draw piece by piece, bit by bit. Let's start with the players that are not playing, the big names that are out. Okay, starting with the biggest name, one of the biggest names of all time, Rafa Nadal. He's not playing. Dominic Team is also not playing. Ro Roger Federer also out of the draw. Berrettini, he actually pulled out of the Olympics this week, so he's not going to be playing. Batista Agu, Goffin, Shapovalov, and Rudd are the biggest names that are not playing. And of course, you can put Kyrgios in there. Uh, you can put Dimonor in there. Dan Evans is also not playing. But uh, out of the big, big top 20 names, those are the guys that will not be participating in the Olympics. But there are still some big names playing. Let's start at the top of the draw. Okay. Here it is. The draw for the Olympics. Number one seed, Novak Djokovic. He versus Dillian in the first round. So a very good first round there for Djokovic. Should get through that one, you would expect. If he does get through, he'll play the winner of Struff versus Montero, who are going at it in the first round. Then you've got Musetti versus Milman. Very fun matchup there. Uh, Musetti on the hard courts. He did play well at Acapulco this year. So keep an eye on Musetti. Maybe he can do some damage. Uh, the winner of that match plays either Souza or the number 16 seed for Kina in the second round. Uh, then you've got Monfils versus Avashka. Winner of that match takes on either Kukushkin or Coria. Of course, Monfils, the 10th seed in this one. Uh, then you've got Gombas versus Giron. Winner of that match takes on one of the biggest first round matches of the tournament. Nishikori versus Rublev, the number five seed. Now, that is probably the match of the first round. Uh, it's one of the matches of the first round. That is that's massive. I mean, Nishikori, the hometown favorite. I know there's no crowd, but still, he's playing in Japan. And Rublev, that's tough. That is a tough first round for Rublev. That is terrible. Uh, by the way, you can see there, Rublev versus Monfils, potentially in the third round. And then uh, Djokovic versus Rublev in the quarters is uh, is an interesting matchup because those two have never played before. So potentially a quarterfinal matchup between number five seed Rublev and Djokovic number one. So I think if, he, if Rublev loses in that first round, Djokovic has got the semifinals locked up. Now you've got number four seed Zverev. He plays Lou in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Gallen or Safwat in the second round. Then you've got Basilashvili versus Bayana. Winner of that match, sorry, takes on either Daniel or Sinego, the 13th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 11th seed, Karatsev. He takes on Tommy Paul, the American, in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Shardy or Barrios, the Chilean in that second round. Then you got Serendolo versus Brody. Winner of that match takes on a huge first round matchup between Fucevic and the number seven seed, Hercatch. Hercatch is, that's a terrible draw for Hercatch. Fucevic still unseeded in a big tournament, even though he did really well at Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Fucevic, very dangerous player. Massive upset on the cards potentially there with Hercatch. Uh, but you can see there, we've got Karatsev, we've got Zverev, we've got Sonego, we've got Hercatch. Potentially all could be playing each other in the quarterfinals and the third rounds. And remember, this part of the draw will take on Djokovic's part of the draw. So potentially, if we're going by the seedings, we have Djokovic versus Zverev in the semifinals on a hard court 5-1 in favor of Djokovic. So Zverev will have to do the impossible if he's going to get to the gold medal match by beating Djokovic, who he's only beaten once on a hard court before. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw. We've got the number eight seed, Schwartzman. He versus Viral uh, Virilis in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Makach or Zosa in the second round. Then we've got Klain versus Duckworth. Winner of that match takes on either Nishioka or the 12th seed, Hashinov, in the second round. Then we've got the 14th seed, Umber. He takes on Anduha in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Matrizak or Kichmenovic in the second round. Then we've got Kwon versus TFO. Winner of that match takes on another first round fire matchup between Cole Schreiber, the veteran, and the number three seed, Sidzi Pass, because Sidzi Pass, that's a tough first round. That is a terrible first round for Steph. Uh, that is a very tough first round, and then potentially a second round matchup between TFO, the man who beat him at Wimbledon only a couple of weeks ago. So Sidzi Pass has got a tough, tough matchup uh, in this one. But also, you can see there, Umber potentially will play against Sidzi Pass in the third round, and Umber has a winning record against Sidzi Pass. 1-0 in favor of Umber. So, I mean, Sidzi Pass probably got the worst draw out of the big names. Uh, then you can see there, he's probably either going to play either Schwartzman or Hashinov in the next round. If he does play Schwartzman, he has a losing record against Schwartzman on hard court, 0-1. So again, doesn't want to play him, but he does have a 3-0 record against Hashinov in the quarterfinals if they do play. So, Steph will hope he avoids 
Guys like Tiafoe, he doesn't want to play against Umber, doesn't want to play Schwartzman. He'd probably want to play Herk uh, sorry, Hashinov in that uh, quarterfinal stage. Bottom part of the draw now. So remember, this part of the draw takes on the City Pass section of the draw. We've got Karino Buston, the number six seed. He takes on Sangrin in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Chilich or Menezes, the Brazilian, in the second round. Then we've got Kopfer versus Bagnus. Winner of that match takes on probably the first round match that everyone's watching this, you know, in the next couple of days. Will be Murray, the defending champion of the Olympic medal, the gold medal against the number nine seed, Auger Aliassime. Now, those two have played uh, in the last 12 months. They played at the Olympics. Sorry, no, they played at the US Open a couple of, uh, what, a couple of months ago now, six, seven, eight, nine months ago now. And Auger Aliassime got the straight sets win. So I don't know how Murray's going to do there, but hey, look, if he beats Auger Aliassime, the draw opens up for him a little bit as well. So no, 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 it's the Olympics. Anything can happen. Then you got Fanini, the number 15 seed against Sagita. Winner of that match takes on either Jerusalem or Simon in the second round. Then you got Nagal versus Istaman. Winner of that match takes on another very dangerous first round matchup for a Russian. Bublik plays Medvedev, the number two seed. So that means Rublev takes Nishikori and Medvedev takes Bublik. Two terrible first round matchups for the Russians. Um, could be upsets for both. And that is a very dangerous matchup again for Medvedev. They actually played at the French Open only a couple of months ago, and Medvedev got the win. So maybe Medvedev, maybe we're looking a little bit too much into this, but I do think Medvedev has a trouble, troubling first round matchup. Now you can see Fanini versus Medvedev could be a third round matchup, which I like that. I love that third round. And if that does happen, Fanini actually uh, has never beaten Medvedev. Sorry, has beaten Medvedev once on a hard court, but Medvedev holds a 3-1 head-to-head -head record against Fanini. And then if uh, Medvedev does play, let's say, Corino Busta or Ojeh Aliassime, against Ojeh Aliassime, Medvedev holds a 1-0 record against. So that's a good record for him. And also uh, against Corino Busta, he holds a 3-1 record, 2-1 on a hard court. So Medvedev, if he can get through that first round matchup and, uh, and avoid Fanini, he could make the semifinals potentially. Now remember, semifinals between this section and City Pass. His section of the draw, which means Medvedev City Pass could be a semifinal on the cards. And if that does happen, we have a, it's a 5 1 record in favor of Medvedev on a hard court. And it's 6 2 in their head to head between City Pass and Medvedev. So Medvedev should get the win if he plays Steph. So that is the draw for the men. And uh, let me know in the chat. Are there any questions? Any questions? Because. I, look, Djokovic has got an easy draw. I don't think we've got any... I mean, that's not... I'm not just saying that because there's Novak Djokovic. I'm saying that because, legit, if Nadal was the number one seed, I would say Nadal has an easy draw. He, there's no one in that draw that troubles... In the top half of the draw that troubles Djokovic. No, there's no one there. Djokovic should get to the uh, get to the semifinals at the very least. The very least. Uh, Rublev is the exception. But I would say even Rublev, uh, you know, Rublev's got to play Nishikori. Uh, I don't know if Nishikori's, I don't think, I don't know if Rublev's going to get through Nishikori. 